What's going on everybody, it's Amr here and today I'm going to talk about plateaus, how to bust through a plateau, how to take your body to another level, um, really build new muscle, burn fat, build your strength and uh, overall improve in the gym and in your physique. So I'm going to teach you three simple techniques you're going to implement into your training. You don't have to tr change your diet at all. Um, it's just three simple techniques you're going to start implementing into your training routine um, and you're really going to see a significant difference. So um, before I do explain it, it's very, very important that you understand why you've probably plateaued, why a lot of people plateau. Um, a lot of people when they work out, they do the same workouts over and over, which is fine. You can do the same workouts day in and day out. That's fine. The problem is, is when you keep the weight the same, when you keep the intensity um, and the volume of the weight the same. Uh, you give your body no reason to grow. If you're constantly doing 60-pound dumbbell presses, why would your body need to grow? A perfect example of this is a construction worker. Um, sure, they lift weight all the time. They're lifting heavy concrete blocks all the time. Um, and probably for the first month, their body got used to it when they started the job. Um, but because they're constantly lifting the same amount of weight, equivalent to a 60-pound dumbbell press every week for the last year, um, there's no reason for their muscles to grow. There's no reasons for their back to grow because it grew enough to handle that load. Same thing, your your chest grew enough muscle to handle that 60 pound load. So now what you have to do is increase the weight. Go up to 65, go up to 70 pounds. When you do that, you're gonna give your body a reason to grow because it doesn't wanna get injured. It doesn't wanna hurt the muscle. So what's it gonna do? It's gonna get stronger so it can handle that load next time. Um, a lot of people do want to get stronger, they don't know how. That's where these three techniques are going to come into play. So, number one, a drop set. It's very important you implement the drop set on the last one or two sets of your training, um, whatever body part you're training. So if you're doing a bench press, um, and the most you can ever dumbbell press is 100 pounds, that's fine, for eight reps. You're gonna do. You're gonna keep it at an eight to 10 repetition for the heaviest weight you can do uh, for eight to 10 reps. You're gonna pump them out. As soon as you're done, you're gonna drop the weight from 100 pounds to 80 pounds and go to failure, as many as you can, which is probably gonna be about 10 to 12 reps. As soon as you're done that, you're gonna drop it down to 60 pounds. You're gonna do about 15 to 20 repetitions. No rest in between each drop. Now, what you're doing there is you're teaching your body that you added more resistance onto the muscle. Your body doesn't know that you reduce the weight. Your body thinks that it actually did 100 pounds 25 times, that's what your body thinks, or it even thinks that you did 120 pounds. So now you're forcing your body and tricking your body into thinking that it did more weight than it actually did. It's going to get stronger, it's going to build new muscle fibers and really grow. Um, it's going to get harder and stronger and bigger, so that's exactly what you want. Another thing you can do, um, negative, so if you have a training partner, you can do dumbbell presses for 120 pounds and your partner's going to help you get it up and resist it down slowly so on the way to, you're gonna resist the weight on the way down um, and your partner is gonna help you get it up that's very important that you do that uh, one thing I like doing at the end of my workouts the third uh, the third technique is uh, if I'm training biceps let's say at the end of it what I'll do is I'll do maximum amount of chin-ups if I'm training chest what at the end of the workout I'll do a maximum amount of push-ups um, and I'll aim for number very very high numbers like two three four five hundred push-ups at the end of the workout what that is gonna do is force as much blood into the muscle as possible it's gonna force your body to grow um, it's very important you implement these you don't have to do them every week um, try to implement them mm, into body parts that are weaker lacking body parts body parts that you haven't been growing that you haven't been progressing with the weight. So if you've been doing a 100 pound dumbbell press for the last two months, there's something wrong. You gotta change it. You can't constantly do the same weight and expect progression. Um, you know, if you stagnate in your training program, your body's gonna do the same. Your body has no reason to change. You gotta give your body a reason to grow, give your body a reason to change. So um, do that. Drop sets, negatives, and uh, high intensity sets um, at the end of your workout. So same thing, if you did a back day, just do rep out 100 pull-ups. And even if it takes you 20 sets, do 100 pull-ups. Set a goal, aim for that goal, 100 pull-ups, um, 500 push-ups, 200 push-ups, whatever it is, um, but really force blood flow into the muscle, guys. Make sure you look around the gym. No one is sweating more than you. It's very important that you're training very hard. Keep it high intensity. Um, don't leave the gym feeling like you didn't do anything. So 
Uh, really feel the, leave the gym feeling like you accomplished a good workout and you're sore. So um, take your body to failure. Take your workouts to failure. At the end of your workout, that's when you're taking it to failure with those push-ups or with those pull-ups or with those chin-ups or with those dips. You're taking your body to failure because if you fail in the gym now, um, you're going to really annihilate those muscles. But what's going to happen? They're going to be forced to grow and it's going to be success. So failure now is success later. Um, that's where you're looking for. You're looking for growth. You're looking to break through a plateau. Use those techniques. Drop sets, negative sets, and high intensity uh, repetition sets at the end of your workout. So um, really implement these and uh, try it out. Let me know how it goes.